Hello Capricorn, welcome back to my channel. This is Skeleton Key Tarot and this is a tarot card reading for Capricorn. All Capricorn placements, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Wherever you've got Capricorn in your chart or in your life, there's something in this message for you. And as always, cross watchers are welcome here too. So let's begin. Messages for Capricorn, please. What does Capricorn need to know? So this is about your long-term plans, something that's been in the works for a long time. Feels like it's not really going as fast as you'd like for some, or it's at a standstill, waiting, planning, calculating, arithmetic, uh, okay. <laughs> um, okay, this is picking up. It's going to pick up speed soon. I feel like in my, I'm channeling now, I'm in an intuitive energy of even the way that I'm reading this, even my feelings as the reader, I'm like going so slow. I just want to move slow. Like I want to do like slow motion, like martial arts like what is that taekwondo tai chi tai chi where they're in the park and they're like you ever seen tai chi i'm like doing it right now i look ridiculous but like i think that's what it's called Ooh, the cream rises to the top Ooh, look at that emperor I also, what made me laugh about the Knight of Pentacles, I just feel like talking so slow. Do you talk really slow? Are you talking to somebody who talks like this? This is like unnaturally slow and I'm like doing Tai Chi. I don't know who I'm connecting to right now. Do you do yoga? But <laughs> like, okay, so let me be real. So. The Knight of Pentacles, I saw a meme once. There was something I saw on, I think it was like Pinterest or something. And it was the Knight of Pentacles and somebody wrote on the meme, it was like, behold, the field in which I grow my fucks. And it is barren. <laughs> like, like you don't care, like you don't give a fuck. Like there's no fucks to, to your, yeah. Okay, anyway. All right, it looks like there's just something you've been working on for a really long time and it's been really slow, but you kept at it. You were so determined. You were doggedly focused. I just heard dogged, all right? It, it's been dogging you, okay? You've been so focused to the ex, ex, exclusion of everything else. Like laser focus on this. And you've just been one foot in front of the other, one brick at a time. You've been building up this, this like empire, one brick at a time. You've been building up, okay, like your YouTube channel. If you've been doing YouTube or something and you do readings or you do some sort of content and you just one video at a time every day, nonstop, rain or shine, whatever it is you're working on, videos, content, artwork, building something, building a house, building your career in whatever way that is, building your lifestyle from the ground up. Been here for years. Don't call it a comeback. I've been here for years. Look at where we were and look at where we are now. Um, so now suddenly you're having an exponential growth. Okay. You ever seen one of those hockey stick graphs, a chart, like the population growth of the planet. Look up the chart, like graph of population growth. And you'll see the exponential growth for like thousands of years. It was, it was way down here near zero. It was just, you know, 4 million people on the planet. And then somewhere around like the 1960s or something like that, it just starts going straight up to the moon. Right? It's like, it's going along, going along. It's not really going anywhere. It's not really doing anything. Time is passing, but it's staying pretty much the same. Small, 
not really growing, maybe gets a tiny bit bigger, you know, but you're seeing very slow growth, slow moving, and then something happens, bam, you go viral, overnight success, exponential growth. Now every day you're getting another thousand subscribers, every day you're getting another thousand dollars in the bank, every single day. It's like going up, 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 way up. And that's what this is. That's what these three cards are talking to me about. You were just plodding along day in, day out, working on it. Never gave up. Don't give up. If this has not happened yet, do not give up. Keep going. And then suddenly, shocking, overnight, it's just mastery. Now you are the emperor. You go from the knight of pentacles to this emperor. It's so strong. Whew. Yeah. No, I'm being told. So you've got the, the hardest part of this process is over. You've got to allow for this change to happen. And as this happens, you're going to feel differently about Okay, the hardest part of this work has already been done in many ways. This is the hard part where you are working every day and not really seeing the results. Working every day and you're not getting the instant gratification. That's the hardest part is to how do you keep going? How do you keep finding the motivation? Because you want to see where this will take you. Because you are so determined and you really believe in what you're doing. This is your idea. This is your new idea. And that was so hard. And you gave up a lot. I feel like to the exclusion of other things means like you sacrificed your time. You may have been working on this for a long, long time. I'm getting years. More than one year. Absolutely. Could be 10, 20 years. Four or five years. Eight years. It's a long time, a long time, a long term. And you, maybe you had to make some sacrifices, right? Like sacrificing other opportunities. And you're going to feel so differently about this when, when this happens. It's going to end up resolving a lot of problems for you. And you're going to be able to move on to something else, some new part of your life. There's the Hierophant, the King of Pentacles success getting what you want there you go this new idea is going to be very successful okay it's not even a new idea though you've been doing this for a long time there's other people that you may be working with who are counting on you working with you on this making it happen it's very powerful very st stabilizing influence in your life you're being promoted you're getting a promotion. You're going to get a message from some kind of authority figure, maybe, who's been watching your progress, who's seen you and seen your growth and seen what you've sacrificed and seen how hard you've worked and how painful something's been for you. You may end up losing a job. Okay, this may be a separate message for somebody else. Um, you may have lost a job or you're going to. You're going to be fired. Now, don't get scared. Just be prepared right? So you'll know if this is for you, you're going to get communication from this boss that may, you may end up losing your job. And it's going to be like taking your whole life and it's going to screech, screeching to a halt, your income screeching to a halt. And you, you've made so many sacrifices, you're going to be angry, you're going to be so mad. Oh boy. Okay, so what's the message? Yeah, look at that. Five of Swords, Eight of Cups, walking away from this conflict. Walking away from this defeat. You're going to have to leave something. You're going to be defeated. It's not going to work out. Okay, well then what? The Hermit, the King of Swords, deciding to go alone, go it your own way, doing something on your own working from home, working for yourself, going into your own small business. Seriously focused on your goals here. You're going to have to do some serious introspection. This causes you 
Oh, man. Yeah, you may have to move. It's going to up. You may feel uprooted. You may feel betrayed. It's like making certain decisions on your own for yourself. I get somebody is going to be like, well, well, now what I'm supposed now what I'm now, what am I supposed to do? That's what I just heard. Now, what am I supposed to do? Ask your angels, ask your guides, ask the universe for guidance. This is important. This is, this is uh, redirecting you towards something else that you're meant to do. Maybe you should have left this job on your own by now. For some of you, you probably got signs and signals. Now I'm not blaming you. Obviously that's not my point. My point is like, Sometimes if we refuse to make changes in our life when the universe tells us it's time or we get an omen or we get a signal or a sign and we stay where we're at even though we're supposed to leave, uh, if you don't make a change when you're supposed to, then the universe is going to make the change for you and might use your boss to make the change. And, you know, instead of, instead of uh, looking for a new job when maybe maybe it would have been good for you to do that, you didn't want to or you you didn't know how or whatever like you're being thrown into the deep end because you you don't know how to swim what i just oh my god i just saw in my mind okay i don't even know what this is from the andy griffith show do you even watch like do you remember that do you know what that show is Okay, so in this show, there's a man and a little boy, and they're standing next to the river or the lake. Yeah, it's a lake. They're standing next to the, to the pond, okay, this water. And the man looks down at the little boy and says, hey, do you know how to swim? And the little boy says, no, I've never learned how to swim. And the guy's like, really? You don't know how to swim? The boy's like, no, I don't know how to swim. And he picks up the little boy and he throws him into the water. And the boy's like, oh my God. And, and, he's, and the mother comes running out like, oh my God, you just, he doesn't know how to swim. And the man's like, that'll teach him or something like that. And it's like, oh my God. And it's so funny to, to me because I'd laugh at stuff like that. But it's coming to my mind right now where like, oh, really? You don't know how to swim? Well, I'm going to throw you in and you're going to learn how to swim. So it's sink or swim in this environment. And it's harsh. That is harsh. That's dangerous too. This kid could drown, but like I wouldn't let him drown. He's just gonna, but the thing is, it's for the, it's for the child's best. You know, it's, it's the, it's actually a good thing because what if that child fell into the water with nobody there to watch him and make sure he doesn't actually die? What if there was an accident and nobody's around to actually save him before he drowns? Now, I'm not saying you should throw your kid in the water. i probably you could probably find a, a better way to do that a less traumatizing way to do that <laughs> but like I get the idea behind it right because it's actually a controlled environment um and it's for the best that the child learns how to swim he's got to because what if someday he falls in the water and there's nobody there supervising him you know what I mean so it's kind of a harsh way to do it but why doesn't the little kid know how to swim? Nobody taught him how to swim. He's never learned. I don't know. I'm not sure I agree with that method to be completely honest. Like, I don't think that's what I would do with my child. I'm not sure about that. But I don't have a child. So, you know, take it as it resonates. General reading for Capricorn. If you'd like personal details, you can email me for a personal reading. But this is changing for the better. This is actually a turning point in your life that's going to lead you to something better. It has to. You've got a new thing coming. Yeah, Ace of Wands and the Sun. See, it all works out in the end. <laughs> just, just don't drown. <laughs> Sink or swim. And it looks like you're going to swim. You've got an exciting new opportunity coming your way. So not all of you are going to get fired. It's just maybe for one or two of you. I don't know who. Maybe it is, maybe not. But either way, what we were saying before is exponential growth okay that boy learned to swim real fast that's called exponential growth he did not know how for the, his whole life no he doesn't know how to swim suddenly boom he knows how to swim now uh okay no all jokes aside 
I think you're going to be getting an important message here and a powerful message communication incoming. And you're going to have to kind of swallow your pride maybe a little bit here. Okay. Or you're going to end up having to make some kind of a sacrifice and you're going to be very upset about it. Yeah. You're going to be upset. You have to walk away from some kind of failure. You have to admit defeat. You have to be humble. Somebody's going to be eating humble pie for breakfast. But this ultimately leads you to a very exciting new beginning in your life that it's going to put you on track for what you're really meant to do. I have one more story before we go. What time is it? Yes, 15.38 on the clock. So one, one last thing. I am in my 30s and I am now a property owner. And I own my own home. It's all paid off, blah, blah, blah. I'm not trying to brag or anything. But I come from a, a very humble beginnings, okay? I didn't always own property. In fact, when I was 10 years ago, you know, I was living in my car in my early 20s. And I didn't have any money. And uh, so... I've had money in my life. I had no money in my life. But at that time, what I'm talking to, I'm trying to refer to a story of a time when I did not have any money. And I was working at a pizza place, okay, at a, at a pizza restaurant. And uh, I had gotten myself a room to rent and I was just living in somebody's trailer, literally, and I was just renting the spare bedroom from some people that were very generous to me to, to let me live in their trailer so that I didn't have to live in my freaking car. And, you know, it was very humble compared to where I'm at today. Well, so I'm working at this pizza place and it comes under new owners. The, the owners sold it and the new management came in and fired everybody. They, well, not everybody, they fired all the women and they fired all the, um, the actually like the Brazilian people and immigrants, like most of the immigrants that were working in the kitchen behind the scenes, like doing the dishes and like doing the prep, like, like chopping up the lettuce and stuff and chopping up the, the prep work in the back were all from like Brazil. They like spoke Portuguese or whatever. And the, literally this actually happened to me. So there was under new management and they come in and they fired the women and they fired all the Brazilian people, immigrants that were working in the back. And they only kept white men and the new Greek guys that came in. That was it. And I was shocked. I was like, what the fuck? I was pissed. I was angry. That's why it reminds me of this reading. I was so mad because it, now what am I going to do? I've been, I was living in my car. I finally got a room to rent. It was a shitty, you know, I'm not saying it was shitty because it was, I'm, I'm humbly grateful. And I have so much gratitude for the people that opened their home to me and let me rent their room. But let's be real. It was just a, it was a tiny little bedroom in a little three bedroom, double wide mobile home trailer. And you know, that's humble. So, and it, it, it was, it was, it was good. It was good enough at the time I needed it and I'm grateful to it. So let's just be real. But like, I'm living in this little room trying to get my life on track and now I get fired for this and I was so mad I was like offended I was like is that even legal but the guys that worked in the back they were not here in the country with papers and like I'm not gonna go fighting I didn't have the resources I didn't know how to fight this it was you know a long time ago and I was in my early 20s and I'm just trying to survive so Long story short, I end up moving to the city. I move out, I move to the city, I end up in a different job, and I ended up in an, an excellent job at an art gallery that I loved working for. And I had an amazing experience there. And I ended up pursuing a, a sort of art career and a music thing that I did. And it was such a good time. And for the rest of my 20s, I lived in the city. I worked at this art, art, art gallery. I did art and music. I sold paintings. My paintings got, like I sold, a, I sold, a, 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 I sold many, many paintings. I worked with many artists on selling theirs. I sold my own. It was amazing, amazing time in my life. And I'm so glad that this happened because if I never got fired from that pizza place, 
I would never have been motivated to move to the city. And if I had not moved to the city and I wouldn't have gotten the job that I did, I wouldn't have had that experience that was so important to me and I love so much and I'm so grateful for that experience. And it led me to meeting my husband. I met my husband and we got married and we ended up buying 22 acres of land. And now I own this land. And my name is on that deed, baby. That's my land. That's my property. If anything should happen, that's my land. And, you know, God forbid, but I'm just saying, like, I came up. I rose up out of that. And, you know, I got this opportunity and I never would have met my husband. I, and now I have my own, like, we have 22 acres of land. And I have my own little, like, shed my own little goth shed in the woods where I do all my readings and like we have different buildings and like we have the workshop and we have you know what I mean like I'm not trying to get into it too much but like I love my lifestyle right now I'm not 100% happy all the time but I'm a way better off than I was when I was working in that pizza place but when I got fired from that pizza place I was so mad and I did not know what I was gonna do I'm having a panic attack my life is ruined I I can't believe this happened fuck these people for being bigots and like how dare they and like what am I gonna do and like I did not know what I was gonna do but now I look back on it and I feel differently about it and I see that here you're gonna feel differently Okay, you're going to get a new opportunity. You're being put on track for something that's going to be really good for you. It's going to be very important to you. And you're going to look back on this experience and you're going to see that taking this opportunity and being motivated to take this opportunity is going to change your life in a very positive way that you do not expect. So there's exponential growth on something that's been stagnant or not moving very quickly take this as it resonates for you. But the, the point is, the message is basically, there is this opportunity. And it's really, really good. But you may have to make certain sacrifices that are very uncomfortable. And you may end up losing your job or losing a position and some kind of defeat, some kind of petty five of swords situation is going to lead to your eight of cups, which is walking away from a stagnant situation that's coming to an end. Something's going to come to an end because you are being redirected, okay, towards something that's going to be the ace of wands in the sun, creative, expansive, beautiful, good fortune. This is good luck. It's a blessing in disguise. That's what I've got for you today, Capricorn. I hope this was helpful. I hope it was of service to you. If you enjoyed this and you'd like a personal reading, my email's in the description box below. You can email me, doing Tai Chi. <laughs> But in any case, I just want to say thank you so much for joining me today and I'll see you in the next one. Okay, bye.